Fanuc Robo Drill D21M IA5, a compact machining centre available in the UK from Fanuc. This machine here is actually a five axis machine. It's got a two axis table on the machine. Uh, we've got a high speed 24,000 RPM spindle, which either with this model you can either select a 10,000 or a 24,000. It's a very compact machine. You've got 500 millimetres in the X axis, 400 millimetres in the Y, and over 300 millimetres in the Z. So you've got quite a bit of Z height as well. There are plenty of options with this machine, but some of the characteristics that stand out. Firstly, the Fanuc 31i series control. This is a full five axis simultaneous control. Now you can actually program at the control three plus two using the manual guide. Um, but if programmed offline, like the component we're going to be machining, seam machining in a minute, is actually programmed using uh, OpenMind Hypermill software and then fed through to the machine. Now, again, this machine does come with through spindle coolant. We've got quite a nice coolant flood wash here. The actual, there's, there's a gradient slope in the machine, which uh, we've got coolant pumps and coolant pipes, which actually, which will blow swarf and coolant away um, from the working area. Now in terms of speed, people do talk about meters per minute in rapids and this has actually got 54 meters a minute in the rapid movement. But one of the key things I know is it's actually got 1.5 G in acceleration. Acceleration is the key and again that will be demonstrated when we look at the, uh, the part being machined in a minute. The 1.5 G gives us plenty of speed when we're moving from axes to axes. Other features to, uh, to focus on tool change time, 1.6 seconds. So that means we can literally go from part, uh, from tool to part, back to part in 1.6 seconds. So within this BT30 um, tool changer, we have got 21 tool stations. I mentioned already about the 1.6 seconds uh, chip to chip time. We've also got a programmable cutting feed on the machine of 30,000 meters per minute. So with the points we've touched on, acceleration and speed, obviously being able to cut at that speed is, is quite something. Um, repeatability of the machine, key to engineers looking for accuracy, again plus or minus two microns. So again the focus here being on speed, you've got a high speed spindle 24k, you've got high speed tool change 1.6 seconds and you've got 1.5g in acceleration to all those features combined give you a very very high speed high performance machining centre. Now, who would buy this type of machine? Well, we're going to show you an impeller being machined, so people looking for uh, small components being machined at high speeds. Uh, when we run this demo, that will demonstrate that. But you can actually have the machine without the two-axis table and use it as a straightforward three-axis machining centre. As I say, with a working envelope of 500 in the X, you can actually fit some rather large components on there as well. As I move around the machine, we've got... Um, side access here where it's also uh, very visible you can see inside the, mach inside the machine from, uh, from another perspective and then going a bit further around the back of the machine we can actually see with this machine we've got oil and mist extraction now this would be incorporated into a, into a machine machining at this type of speed obviously you're going to be generating with the use of coolant and flood coolant you're going to need the, uh, the oil and mist extraction to take a lot of the mist out of the environment within the machine. Uh, as I move around the back as well, even, even in the Z, the depth of the machine, looking at the, um, the footprint, you've actually got, it's about one and a half metres in terms of depth if you take out the, uh, the mist extraction and the conveyor, which is actually, again, supports the compact uh, argument we're talking about. Build quality of machines is also a big factor, and here, this Fanuc machine, which is built in, uh, in Japan, or a Japanese machine, you've got a solid cast base, that's a cast iron, giving it plenty of weight, which again supports the theory of uh, high-speed, stable machining.
So Fanica are a supplier of machine tools, they're a supplier of uh, high performance controls, but they're also a supplier of robotics. And the three of those combined, well this is an example of the three of those combined. We've got an automation system here which will pick and place components, it will load and unload parts from within the machine tool. So it aids production. So the D21MIA5 is the most popular model uh, of robo drill supplied by Fanuc. As we take a walk over here in the showroom, we've got the high power version, which interestingly is one of their latest, uh, latest models. We're not going to talk about this today, but we're going to come back in a few weeks' time and meet with the guys here at Fanuc, and they're going to go into a little bit more detail about the, uh, the pros and cons and the benefits of this new machine.